All right, everyone, we're not gonna stand on ceremony today. We're just gonna get right in this box. So I wanted to make this a, a new series and by the time you see this video go up, it's gonna have um, a title for said series, but I haven't made it as of yet. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make these these box opening videos and, and you know discuss some things maybe we talked about earlier in the week. Um, you know, and just kind of recap and, and check in, see how everything's doing, and I don't know. Just open some packs and talk about magic. Yeah, that's that's really all it is. We're not reinventing the wheel here. I'm just going to get this out of the way. This flap always annoys me. I always want to set it up like it's, you know, the display, and then, you know, and then it always divulges into something terrible. Okay, so yeah, uh, Wilds of Eldraine. Haven't actually opened draft of this, so I'm pretty excited to get into it. I tried actually adding a filter to my light, and it didn't end up working out, so there's going to have to be another way. Oh, wow, okay. All right, so we have, I think these are the Japanese packs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then we have the Heart Flame Duelist. Perfect. All right. I'm going to make this ultra quick. Uncommons, commons. All right. So yeah, posted some pretty. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know how to say it other than just very charged videos this week, and I just wanted to you know kind of check in on that and uh, oh I got a foil, impact tremors, and you know just kind of this oh up the beanstalk. That's actually one we still have to watch. Um, yeah, and just kind of kind of check in on all of that, and and you know once again, I appreciate all the all the new subscribers, all the previous subscribers, everybody who who's given my channel a chance. <clears throat> While we're on our way to two hundred, I I truly appreciate every single one of you. But yes, it's oh my goodness, parallel lives. Jeez. Uh, okay, first mythic, second mythic of the box. We have the Arat charmed uh, the charmed apple. It's a very cute title. But yeah, so I know that I, I thank you uh, is what I have to say. I'm all over the place. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Why are we looking at comments? Um, oh man, if you have some coffee too, join me. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nice little box opening. So yeah, I posted some charged uh, topic videos this week, um, and you know obviously there were subjects that people apparently wanted to talk about because oh boy did they did they talk. Um, and yeah, I, I'm really happy for with all the turnout of all the, um, you know, all the support, everything like that. I mean, I'm even happy, you know, for the negative comments, right? You know, everybody needs to share their opinion on this channel, I think, for this channel to, to succeed. And if that opinion, it doesn't align with mine, which, to be perfectly honest with you, even the positive comments, not a lot of them aligned. It's okay. That's That's how we move on. That's how we move forward as a... As a group, I love this art for the Grasp of Fate. Have this in foil in one of my commander decks. But um, but yeah, that's you know that's just how we move forward. We have to discuss things that <clears throat> you know we all feel a different way about, and we can't avoid topics, and we also just can't you know speak for others. So I really try not to do that, <laughs> even though uh, it, that is one of my worst habits. Ooh, love that foil, um, Grasp of Fate again. Uh, even though that's, I think this Rebo Bunny Corn is still something. You know, even though that's kind of how I teach in my voice lessons, I it's my um, it's my sort of teaching style to kind of include myself in the students' learning, just so they don't feel alone in it. Because if you haven't, well, if you haven't ever been in a voice lesson, or if you don't haven't been in any musical lesson of any any sort, it's very easy for students to be self conscious, and I found personally that um that if you kind of include yourself and and just say hey we're going through this and all that you know it, it helps them out so if i say things like we sometimes and and everything like that i i truly don't mean it to speak for other people so that's that's just where that comes from and um that's a little bit of the alex lore that you may not have had from before so oh uh, oh uh. I mean, for a foil rare, since foil rares don't really matter anymore, it's whatever. But Charming Scoundrel is not a bad foil rare. Leyline of the Void, jeez. So you get one of these in every pack? That's pretty stupid, actually. I mean, in a good way, but... Oh my god, a virtual loyalty. All right. Um, 
Yeah, so, so yeah, if I ever sound like I speak for people or anything like that, that is absolutely not my intention. I want everybody to share their own opinion, even if it's like, you know, I, I saw some opinions that I would put like a percentage that compare to mine, you know, like, I don't know, like somebody agreed with me almost like 90% and there's some people that completely disagreed with me. That's perfectly, perfectly fine. Hatching plans. These, these uh, enchanting tails are gorgeous, by the way. Don't know anybody's opinion on those, but I love it. So, geez, Sir Ginger. Decent rares again. So yeah, I know I posted some some rough videos this week. Some videos that are that are very um like I said, very polarizing. You can tell I on that um loot video, I think I think I ended up with 55 likes, which is great. Obviously a ton of comments, but um it still ended up getting somewhere in the neighborhood of like like 20, 25 dislikes, which is kind of what I expected. I kind of expected a, a little bit of a, well, not a little, a, a big group of people that, that strongly disagreed with my opinion, and and it is what it is. But yeah, so that's just kind of my philosophy on it. I think, I think we should talk about difficult subjects. I think we should, um, you know, just kind of check in with everybody, see how everybody's feeling. Oops, sorry, wrong spot. Come on. Oh, as foretold. I keep seeing the blue, and I want it to be... Uh, <laughs> I want it to be risk the Ristic study so bad. Realm Scorcher, okay, yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine for a mythic. But yeah, so I plan on I plan on uh, continuing to post videos like that and, and continuing to post um, compelling conversations. And you know, I'm a big um user, so I'm trying to trying to fix my inflection. But then again, it's you know I'm not I'm not. Oh, okay, Talon's Messenger, Foil Rare. All right, yeah. You get more than one foil rare, it's not as fun. Um, ooh, Scalding Viper. I always like this art, although I don't think this card has done anything at all, but I really do like that for like an is it, is it sort of like spell slinger -y kind of deck. Um, but yeah, so like I said, plan on continuing to post, uh, post videos like that and continue to have these conversations, continue to have tough conversations. I know my, my opinions do not align with the mainstream opinions. That is perfectly, perfectly fine. Oh my goodness, and an as foretold. I swear I keep seeing this blue, and I'm like, please give me the fucking Ristic study, please. But I will take it as foretold in the foil. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous foil. Um, won't complain about that. Blind Obedience, also not bad. Put that right there. Lord Skidder's Blessing. Yeah, so, like I said, going to continue posting videos like that. I think they're very good um, for discussion and, you know and bringing the type of people I want to this channel here. To be perfectly honest with you, I want people who are opinionated. Um, that's curiosity. Damn you. Damn you with all this blue. Hydra's Crown of Winter. That is gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen this card in person. What do you guys think about that one? That looks kind of gorgeous. Huh. All right. But, um, but yeah. So, also, I... Um, I really love doing box openings. That's like my first channel on YouTube was a sports card opening channel, um, which is still technically, well, it's not active, but it's still up. <laughs> um, and uh, and yeah, I just really, tons of foils in the in the draft. Like what the fuck? These are coming out, coming out of the woodwork. Um, but yeah, my first my first channel on YouTube was, uh, was a box opening video. It's Cosmos Cards, if you guys could find it. It's, I think it barely has 100 subscribers, if, if any, at this point. Um, but yeah, we opened up sports cards and things like that. So, And I love, love, love opening magic boxes. That's my that's my favorite. Sports cards is more of like a hobby I have with my family. And this is, ooh, I like the On, on the Adventure. Um, dark Tutelage, very nice. I gotta be honest with I know I'm jumping uh, subjects. Ooh, love Lord Skitter. Um, I wonder, we've got a lot of rares in that in that slot. And we got, like, one Mythic. I'm wondering if we get any more Mythics. We're, I don't even think we're halfway through this box. This is turning out to be a pretty spicy box. Got the Parallel Lives. I mean, I wouldn't say we have any, like, the super heavy hitters yet. Vampiric Rites. Yeah. But this, like, this just feels good to open. I... I don't know. I might, I might just be a draft booster guy. I mean, I know, I know the collector boxes are a thing, and we'll definitely open them on this channel. And I definitely like holding them because, you know, I'm, let's call it what it is. The value's there. Although, with with them completely getting rid of the the uh, play booster box, 
and going, I'm sorry, with them completely getting rid of the draft booster box and going to this like sort of play booster um, system, there's like a really big price gap between the old draft boosters and like the current draft booster, aka the play booster. And I'm wondering if this is, if that is going to drive these prices up. If you haven't seen Wilds of Eldraine, I think they're in the neighborhood of like 100 to 105 a draft booster box and that's not you know uh, the norm most of them are pretty pretty low but I wonder if in lieu of people getting you know um, play booster box I wonder if people are gonna just go back to older modern sets and just open draft so a, a little bit maybe a little bit of a spec on my end although I I I don't think this is a spec at all. This is this is just a great product. Uh, come on. Oh, one time. One time, please. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, there's something to consider there. It's, you know, what what does the play booster box do to the old draft boosters? And personally, I think it just values them higher. It essentially, it essentially you know, entices players who don't want to get the play booster box to buy into draft. Another moss. Did we get one more of these? I, th I thought we got a dupe. Yeah, I'm gonna check that. But um, but yeah, I think we did get a moss word dread knight. Oh, questing druid. They're like the same damn thing in my eyes. Very different effect, but they the art's very similar. Um, yeah, but a little bit of an opportunity there with uh, with draft and play. I think. Nice. Oh, and Bramble Familiar. Who remembers getting stomped with that in standard? Is that still is that still a thing in standard? Anybody? Anybody out there who plays? <laughs> That's the one thing I wanna. You know what? Here. Oh, oh, and Biggie, Biggie. I don't know if you could open packs, my guy. I don't know. Oh, Utopia. Dude, look at this art. Look at that. These. The this is one of the best. Um, like best little like ancillary slot like what do we call that special treatment i don't know but that's one of the best ones out there um really love it but yeah oh what was that I'm, I'm all over the damn place this morning i, I just love opening packs you know I'm, I'm so used to doing it in silence it's just like what what do i talk about um oh goblin bombardment it's not terrible uh spellbook vendor is not also not bad um yeah i wanted to know a little bit more about you guys so i don't know i you know i talk about myself from from here you know a little bit and here and there and and I do want to get to know my audience and there's definitely some frequent commenters I have um like far north magic I you know they they commented a lot um and yeah I just want to get to know a little bit about you guys so H how about this if anybody's interested if you're here at 13 minutes and five seconds this is this is an awesome ley line by the way look at that art Tell me a little a fun fact about yourself. Doesn't have to be anything obviously personal or anything like that, but just a little fun thing about uh, about you that, you know, I don't know, just just for fun, just for fun. Um, a fun fact about me is I actually in my in my free time in my spare time I work as a as an opera singer. Isn't that fun? Isn't that a fun little thing? Shared animosity. Can we get one mythic and can, oh sorry, and can that mythic be? A, um, oh god, what, why can't I think of the name, uh, Ristic Study, please, please, just one Ristic Study, or, or that big ass, um, I mean, we are on a four mythic box, I think, we, I think our luck has run dry with mythics, but, uh, that cauldron would be pretty friggin' sweet, dark tutelage, come on, oh, feral encounter, I think that's a bad card, if I'm not mistaken, and we need some more of the beanstalks, haven't seen any of those, unless I've completely missed it, but yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at like fun videos. So if you're if you're new to the channel, I post every single day, and except for like one day on the weekend, I'll I'll take off. But you'll see at least a short from me. Come on! Oh my gosh! Every time I see these, these are beautiful pieces of art. This is what should be, you know, pushed in magic is this type of art. Like this looks like hand drawn. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's digitally rendered. But damn, that looks so good. Good job, Lander. Ooh, Stridge Bowl? Is that how you say it? Anybody knows his name? For real? Comment below, did I say it right? All right, all right, I think we're in the last, we're in the last nine packs. We're in the last nine packs and we've kind of cooled off a bit. 
We need, we need to come back. We need a little bit more to make this box really special. Raid Bombardment, followed by, ooh, Restless Spire in the Borderless Non-Foil. Beautiful card. Not really the one you want, but still gorgeous. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad at all. A Cauldron would be absolutely legendary. I have never, I have opened a ton of Wilds of Eldraine, and I have not ever opened a Cauldron. That card is insanely hard to pull. And I'm assuming that's why it commands a 20, oh, uh, what is, it's not 20, I think it's like 60, 70 dollar price point. Crazy. Cruel Somnophage in the showcase. This is one of my favorite cards in that, um, oh, what the hell, what, what, what? Descend. I, I played a pretty sweet Descend deck. One of my first videos on this channel, by the way, is a gameplay of that deck. So if you want to see it, go deep in the in the old video history when I thought I was a good player and I could I could play this. I think uh, I think maybe that'll be fun in the future. But guys, I, I'm not I'm not good. I'm not good at this game. Come on. Ooh, ooh, where has Tabby? A poor little mouse. See, the mouse is me. Stab wound. Oh, okay. All right, Blossoming Tortoise, if he's still a couple bucks, it's not bad. All right, so now we're at, now we're at five, well, four Mythics with, with one of the, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't opened, like I said, I haven't opened draft of this, so are we, are we kind of done? Is this, is this last six packs going to be kind of poopy? Or are we in, are we in for a treat? Leyland of Abundance, I'll take that. Oh my goodness. And a Bruna Grand Squall. Third mythic, I'm sorry, third, sixth mythic, mythic of the box. Not bad. Okay, still. What the hell have I done here? Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Please tell me I didn't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's the worst. All right, there we go. I'm back to normal. All right, so with this ring light, ring light now that we're at 17 minutes in the video, I'm trying to, I'm try, I tried to put like a filter on it. Guys, it did not work. I gotta, I gotta actually find. Ooh, oppression, oppression. Um, I gotta find the, the right filter for this thing to make it actually, you know, not have this. I mean, you can't see it here because nothing's foiled. But yeah, still getting the ring of death on things here. You'll probably see it here. Yeah, see. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm. I guess I gotta get an actual filter. I tried doing like a homemade thing with like wax paper. If you guys do any cooking. Um, and yeah, it didn't, didn't really do it. It shined right through, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Okay, okay. what do we have? Defense of the heart in the anime. What in the actual world? Holy shit. That is, what? You can get anime cards in this? This is crazy. <laughs> this is, this is, okay, guys, this is actually nuts. This, why, why, why even get collector? Why even get collector? Right? I mean, like, you don't, you, like, you could get absolutely blown away in collect. oops, sorry. No, that's right. You get absolutely blown away in collector boxes and get, like, maybe 20% of the expected value. I, I gotta be honest with you, we, we have to be, I mean, I don't think we're anywhere near what we paid for the box. I think I paid 90 for this box. But, I mean, we have to be around 50, right? Like, I mean, that's not bad. That's, I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. I don't, I don't know, guys. It's you open a box like this, and it's like, why would you ever open collector again? And I, okay, last two packs, please. I know, I know, we've already had seven mythics. I know, I know, and we've had plenty of foils to go around. But if you want to give me one more mythic, <laughs> okay, you want to give me one more mythic, that's that I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, Garrick's uprising is not one of the things I was looking for, and twinning twins. Oh, I'm, I promise I'm going to get this. I'm better at this. When I open boxes, normally it's just like pack, done, pack, done, pack, done. So I'm trying to organize it a touch here. But that defense of the heart is sweet. I don't even care if it's non I almost, I almost like appreciate non-foils more because it's so much easier to get a foil. All right. All right. So, okay. We didn't get our Istic study, but do we get a season of growth followed by a land? Oh, okay. Restless Fortress isn't terrible. All right. So... Box done, and within 20 minutes, not bad. We're going to speed it up. I, my goal is to be at 17 minutes to 15 minutes. I think pull of the box is probably going to be this defense of the heart, maybe the parallel lives. 
but that is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous card. So yeah, got a, do we get any bean stalkers? I mean, while we're here, I'll just sift through this and, you know, once again, profusely thank everybody for being here. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Uh, I, I posted that video thanking people for 150 and now we're already, already at 190, three videos later. So I really appreciate you guys getting closer to that, um, that 200 point, although the number is not the goal. The, um, the content is the goal. So that's, that's what I got to keep in my mind. And, uh, and we're just going to go from there. Yeah. But, oh my gosh, this is, wow. They knew up the beanstalk was going to be a good card, didn't they? <laughs> uh, all right. But guys, I really appreciate y'all coming. Um, this is going to be a new series. You'll see the title, um, uh, as this video is posted and you know, I'm excited and we're going to try and do this every weekend. Maybe not every weekend. I don't want to, you know, um, I'm blowing in my collection too hard with opening, but, uh, but I do like opening these boxes and I appreciate every single one of you being here. So, um, if you like the video, like, if you dislike it, dislike it, every, everything in between, throw a comment down there. Like I said, if you have a fun fact about yourself, let me know. I, I really would appreciate it. Oh, this as for told was pretty sweet too. forgot about the as for told. That was pretty dope. I didn't, I honestly didn't think you could get any treatments in foil. So that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, but I appreciate all of you once again, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend and uh, enjoy the eclipse on Monday. Uh, well, maybe we'll talk about it a bit, but yeah, enjoy. See ya.